Okay, to determine acid strength, I'm just going to give you the down and dirty, quick, fast way to do this, okay? Because you don't have time. You've got to learn this in like five days and pass the test, okay? So, there are four factors that you have to look for, and we'll do a couple examples, okay? Uh, something called, and I explain this differently than the text, so if you like the way the text does it, you can ignore what I'm saying. But I think this is the easiest way. Resonance. Uh, Electronegativity, polarizability, and inductive effect. Those are the four factors. The two easiest ones are the ones in the middle. If you draw out the periodic table, it looks kind of like a rectangle. The more you go to the right and down, the stronger the acid. Okay? So, for example, look at the periodic table like that you have with you or on the walls. HI, find iodine, is stronger than HBr because it's lower on the table. HBr is stronger than HCl, HCl is stronger than HF. Or you could say H2O is weaker than H2S because H2S is lower. Okay, so that's called polarizability, going down size. To the right, HF is stronger than H2O, which is stronger than NH3, which is stronger than CH4. So as you go to the right on the periodic table, that's electronegativity is the factor, it gets stronger. So remember, as you go to the right and down, you get stronger on the periodic table. Those are the two middle concepts. Okay? On the left, resonance. This is Lewis structure, stuff from before, uh, from Chem 2A. If you see a double bond, or triple bonds, or oxygens, there's probably resonance. Anything that has those, the more of it that it has, the stronger the acid will be. The more resonance, the stronger the acid. How do you know if something has resonance? Usually it's just by identifying if something has doubles, or triple bonds, or oxygens. The more oxygens, the better. Okay, that's the quick of that one. Inductive, it's similar to electronegativity. You're looking for something like a fluorine, or a chlorine, uh, primarily. If there's, and usually this is an organic molecule. What's an organic? What atoms are in an organic? Carbon. carbon and hydrogen. If you see a, a chemical with carbons and hydrogens, the one, if there's one that has a fluorine or a chlorine and the other doesn't, the one with a fluorine or chlorine will be stronger. And that's called the inductive effect. Okay? Any questions on those four before we do examples? All right. So again, I explain this differently than your text does. I just think this is a little simpler than how your text does it. So, uh, let me do a couple examples. Uh, HOI versus HIO4. This is per iotic acid versus uh, hypoiotis acid. Which one's stronger, right or left? To the right, this one, why? More oxygen. There's more oxygens, and so this one will have more resonance. Boom, that's it. How about uh, BH3 versus H2O? Right or left? The one on the right, water, is a stronger acid because it's more to the right on the periodic table. So it's kind of like Sesame Street. What does not belong here? What's the difference? Uh, how about, let's do H2O again, and H2SE, right or left? Left. 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 left? left is the stronger acid because selenium, SE, is lower on the periodic table than oxygen. Remember, as you go to the right and down, it gets stronger. How about H2O and HCl? HCl, HCl it is both to the right and down. Okay? So HCl is a stronger acid. Uh, let's see. How about uh, right or left? Left. Left because fluorine. that fluorine that causes an inductive effect. It's going to be a stronger acid. It's an organic. You see that F there? It's going to be a much stronger acid. Okay. If I get the idea, are there any questions about this? I think I went through all the effects. That's it.
That's all you need to know. If you can remember these four effects and look for these key things, you're set. That will get you through 95% of all possible examples. Only places you could get stuck. It's better if you can draw resonance structures. That's ideal. Uh, so that's, that's always ideal. That's the only place you can get it tripped up.